This is Eric Erb from TheEricHerbShow.com. You can find me online at TheEricHerbShow.com and on Twitter.com forward slash TheEricHerbShow. And, of course, you can find me at Anchor.fm. That's Anchor.fm. And on Spreaker.com, Spreaker.com forward slash the, the Eric Herb Show Live. And, of course, you can always find me on Podbeam, my new platform, Podbeam.com forward slash Eric Herb Live. Like, subscribe. Love to have you as a subscriber. Now let's get right on to the news. Okay. Out of uh, this article comes out of Real Real Clear Politics. That's RealClearPolitics.com. The Dems can't wait until the convention to stop Bernie Sanders. So apparently, the Democratic Party can't wait until the convention to stop Bernie Sanders. Uh, Senator Bernie Sanders, uh, the Democratic convention this July. He should have only a plurality of delegates. Candidates trailing in the primary race are more incentivized to continue their campaigns, which helps Bernie even more as he plows ahead to cement the insurmountable delegate lead over the divided field. Everyone is afraid Sanders and unwilling to try to block him, uh, despite the fact that he isn't a Democrat. A socialist can't win in a general election. He is fraudulently selling his voters on an agenda he knows will not work. That's what the Democrats are saying about Bernie Sanders. So if you're a Bernie bro out there, a huge Sanders supporter, this is what the Democratic Party claims they're saying about you. That basically you're a traitor, you're no good, uh, you can't win out there, at least against President Donald Trump. So you have to know that. You have to know that uh, Bernie's not well-liked. Uh, Hillary Clinton said that about uh, a month or so ago when they were interviewed. She had made a comment uh, to the interviewer and said, nobody likes Bernie. He's not well-liked at all. Uh, nobody is interested in Bernie. Nobody wants Bernie. So, well, if Hillary Cl Clinton says it, that's pretty much the Democratic establishment right there. And that's, that's a sad thing. Bernie might be screwed over for the second time in history. First time 2016, and now the second time here in 2020. Especially if it ends up as a brokered convention. Uh, the Democrats uh, are not likely to succeed uh, they believe in a second term for Trump as ex existential threat to democracy, but they but also likely to exile their party to the wilderness for generations in a presidential elections. They're still paralyzed, and they appear prepared to accept annihilation, winning, savaging, uh, savaging the left of the Democratic Party. It's all about goals, more like options and something. Uh, has to be sacrificed at the altar, at the will of the voters. That is, Bernie fans who remain a small part of their coalition. And that, again, is out of RealClearPolitics.com. And that was blunt words of Representative Josh uh, Gottimer, who is the co-chair, the problem solver of the caucus in the House and serves uh, in a Trump district for the Democratic Party. Bernie seems to have declared war on the Democratic Party and has caused a panic in the House. Gottimer told the New York Times that is the truth. No matter what, the Democratic Committee is happy to talk. The party support a ban on fracking, elimination of private health care, insurance, steps that would put most of the Pennsylvania out of work. They actually want to win back Pennsylvania this fall. So there you go. There you have it. The inside, inside folks don't want Democratic, uh, they don't want the independent, actually, who is running as a Democrat, Bernie Sanders. They don't want him. They never did want poor Bernie. Boor, poor Bernie will probably, in essence and reality, go to a brokered convention. And it's very sad. off the mainstream. Or the this is politics.com. That's one of their main stories. 
uh, today, uh, March 1st. Um, it's very, very sad uh, that Sanders um, is not liked in the Democratic Party. Uh, I feel very sorry for the supporters of Bernie Sanders. The Democratic Party would rather fall over and literally shoot themselves right in the head rather than elect Bernie Sanders. So that is the truth. That is nothing but the truth. Um, what do you think? What do you think out there, everybody look cast? What do you think about Bernie Sanders? Uh, like him? Dislike him? What do you think? His policy is free health, free health care for all. His policies also uh, include uh, free college, uh, dismiss the college uh, education, free college for all. What do you think about these radicalized policies? Let me know what you think. This is Eric Erb from The Eric Erb Show. You can find me online at theericherbshow.com, twitter.com forward slash The Eric Erb Show, um, anchor.fm, that's anchor.fm forward slash The Eric Erb Show live. And then, of course, uh, on uh, Spreaker, Spreaker.com forward slash The Eric Herb Show Live. And my last uh, newest uh, platform, I'm on Podbean. That's Podbean.com forward slash Eric Herb Live. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to the podcast. Uh, love to have you. Uh, this is Eric Herb from The Eric Herb Show Live signing off.